A Northland high school is crediting a drastic drop in violent behaviour and an improvement to its students' mental wellbeing to a youth worker's unique initiative. Dargaville High's youth worker Mel Russell launched a lunchtime programme earlier this year aimed at keeping students out of trouble. And it's just done that. It's done just that, rather. The programme has been such a success it's captured the attention of other schools throughout the country. Alicia Foon has the story. I know that they can come to me or I can talk to them. I just I can just notice when things aren't right. It's just having someone other than a teacher or a counsellor that they know that they can trust. That's Mel Russell, Dargaville High's sole youth worker. She's become the catalyst for positive change in the very school she attended growing up by shaping the future of young people from low socioeconomic backgrounds. 15, I wasn't allowed to go to school. When I came to the school, I was, there was only three of us married here at year 11. Like, I can recognise them. I, I can see their struggle. I can feel their pain. I can um, understand what they're going through. And I've had no qualification whatsoever other than to bring to them my life's experiences. Ms Russell says many students at the Decile 3 school struggle with low self-esteem, anxiety and depression. She found many were smoking and fighting during lunch breaks, causing major issues for staff. So earlier this year, she launched a lunchtime program running three times a week. At first, a handful of students would turn up, but the program, which has created sports groups and provided gym classes, has become so popular. About 50 students now attend each session. Dargaville High Principal Mike Horton says it's been a huge success and a big reason why there have been no suspensions so far this year. The first in 25 years. In previous years, about a dozen students have been suspended each year, mainly for violent related incidents. Students would um, get involved in, in uh, altercations quite quickly and easily and it could spread to another group. I think one of the big changes has been around um, student wellbeing and identity, so being proud of who they are and where they're from. The change is creating a ripple effect in the community and has even reached Northland Police, who have fundraised $120,000 to provide gym gear to contribute to the programme. Police have even started their own weekly programme at the school, mentoring youth, many whose families are involved in gangs, in an early morning gym session. Ms Russell is part of a network of youth workers with 24-7, an organisation which links churches and schools, providing 165 staff to 75 schools throughout the country. 24-7 Youth Work National Network Coordinator Jay Gaudard says youth workers like Miss Russell are making big impacts through small steps. A lot of her success is down to the longevity of her commitment to that school and her partnership, as an example, the partnership that she's had with the police putting together that school gym where they get up in the morning at 6 o'clock and take kids to the gym and seeing these kids in youth gangs who are actually starting to turn their lives around. Mr Gaudard says youth workers have the ability to build trusted relationships and shepherd youth when they need it most. But they're saying that they don't have enough youth workers, they want more youth workers, and they're actually um, wanting to see more of this initiative happening in more schools. So many lives that have been changed through having youth workers, schools are going, we need more of this because we see the benefit this is having on our well-being of our young people. Mr Gaudard says youth work is crucial to helping students with their problems especially around mental well-being, and says the Dargaville High programme shows just how successful youth work can be. For Checkpoint, call Elisha Fern Tenne.